Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. And right now you can get this sweet scoop soldier sticker when you order over at cardkingdom.com. Just mention in your order notes that you want a scoop soldier sticker when you go to check out. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pioneer Peak. This week we're playing Bant Coco. That's right, not Bant Spirits, more so just the good old Bant Coco decks that uh was well, you know, it was just, like, fun to play in, like, other formats, like, maybe in Modern and whatnot, except we don't have, like, the Vizier combo, right? So, we do have Llanowar Elves, which makes it so we can accelerate to our, co uh, like, Collected Company a little bit faster. We have a ton of other stuff. We do have Spell Quellers. We also have Reflector Mages. Reflector Mages are huge, uh, as they'll be wonderful hits off of, like, Coco to maybe, like, bounce something back at instant speed. Uh, of course, we have Teferi, which is, like, another, uh, another way of bouncing stuff. And, of course... Uh, like, yeah, we have, like, a few cards along the way, like Ronus, we have Uro here in the, the main 60, so just another three drop that we can hit off of Coco that also helps us draw a card, gain some life, maybe we need it against Red Deck, but overall, the whole deck just relies on a bunch of its cheap creatures, and then just, like, getting, like, Coco is, like, the biggest thing that we can get, it's like Dig Through Time, but in green, kinda. And so, yeah, it's spe it relies on the Spell Queller, plus, you know, the interactions that we have with, like, Teferi. Uh, of course, we have cards like Love Struck Beast, which is amazing in this deck, because this will allow us to get an end of turn 5-5, five, five, and just, you know, with, with how many mana dorks we run, uh, we shouldn't have a problem with having a 1-1 one, one at some point. So it could just be surprise, end of turn 5-5, five, five, maybe two 5-5s, five, uh, get in there, and then just swing for 10. And then, of course, uh, as I had mentioned, Teferi, just really good as a way to also bounce back our Spell Queller because uh, how the ability works with Teferi Time Raveler. Uh, opponents can't cast spells. They can only cast spells only anytime they can cast a Sorcery. So that means nothing can be on the stack. Spell Queller makes it so that there's an ability on the stack. So, boom. can't res uh, That means they just don't get the spell back. And, of course, you know, maybe bouncing other creatures like your Rec – not Reclamation Mage uh, – your your uh, reflector mage and and stuff like that back to your hand to go ahead and get more value and or maybe after a swing with uh, you know your uh, not questing beast uh, your love struck beast you can immediately you know make a one one and then replay your love struck beast again so you know how the deck is gonna pretty much try to play so you know what let's go ahead and go straight to the league and see how it performs I'll take the play this time uh, I like it yeah sure I'll keep we don't have a need for the white source just yet so I'm gonna just go ahead and shock here or not shock just play lanowar elf pass next turn i can go ahead and play glacial fortress plus uh elvish mystic oh no we're getting thought seized oh no no we're not we're gonna be just fine currently just fine at least interesting interesting all right uh we'll go ahead and pass to the opponent we just now we have the coco mana live right so we're good all right i see you have raised the board state if they attack i'll double block uh, I'll go ahead and pat. I'll, I'll just go ahead and cast uh, Coco because I don't want to get it discarded. Oh, perfect! Now we're uh, on four color. Look at us go. Nah, I won't do anything about it. I'll let him pump. Sure. Let's see if I find spell. Uh, Reflector Mage. Well, okay. Well, at least we got a ton of lands out of the way. Oh, jeez, that's just killing me on the inside there. All right, sure. All right, let's go ahead and go to combat. This can't block, so they take a bunch of damage. That feels pretty good. Maybe they'll cast Thoughtseize. Oh, a Rankle. Okay, well, that's not ideal. No blocks. Make me sack a creature? I'll, I'll take that. I mean, man, what a bummer. Really hope they don't make me sack a creature. Especially make me draw a card. Please don't make me draw a card. Oh, I'd feel terrible if that happened. No, oh, uh, darn it. Okay, I, I thought Reverse Psychology would have worked. I did want to draw a card. I lied. Um, let me think here. So that's one, two, three. Gets chumped, gets chumped. I mean, all right, let's go ahead and do this. Yep, yep. I got to draw some amount of uh, blood here. So I'm going to just do that. We have more than enough mana to play everything always. So I can go ahead and just pass now. Like if they kill my voice of resurgence, it leaves behind a body, right? And I'm okay with that. Oh no. X is your no- Oh, no, they stole the victory here, right? Yeah, that's that's really good. Two, four, seven, ten, twelve. Am I? Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. Is that exactly twelve to leave me alive? Oh no, but they win. They win no matter what, cause yeah, cause they have a uh, rankle. GGS. All right, all right, all right. Uh, scavenging ooze is pretty good here. 
Oh boy. I guess I could take out a Gideon. Like if I go up Gideon, I probably need to remove, I mean, a, a Coco or something like that. Ugh. No green sources? I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm gonna mulligan. All right, this is slightly better. All right, let's try this again. Unfortunate we didn't hit any reflector mages last time. So I can go ahead and shock play Ronus after this. Or I can go ahead and just play Elvish Mystic. All right, Fatal Push, you got it. That makes it simple. Like, they're definitely going to be a little more controlling this time around, right? All right, hopefully we don't get punished for sending that other land to the bottom of the deck. All right, no. Oh, brutal. Legion's End is very good against us. All right. All right, pass to the opponent. Got to be mindful that Rankle can make a Sac Ronus, which will be a concern. Ooh, Mono Removal. It's pretty good. All right, well, they couldn't also have Rankle, right? There's just no way. There's no way. I don't believe it. All right, Dread Wanderer. That's a good one. Uh, I don't have a land. No. I don't have a land to give. Oh, boy. All right, so let's see what we've got this upcoming turn. Oh, no. Is it... Oh, it is Rankle. They really did have it. Wow. That was a pretty brutal start from the opponent there. I can't do anything. Uh, they had the perfect answers, right? One, two, three, into Rankle, double Dread Wanderer, and lands. Can't really beat that. Yeah, I mean, I got a sack of creature. That's, uh, that's pretty brutal. Can't beat that. Oh, boy. And luckily, you know, since they have three cards in their hand, they can't return Dread Wanderer, right? Because this requires you to have one or fewer. Oh, boy. Not this again. All right, so I have to watch out for Mogus' Marauder. I can't block any of these, so sure, pass. All right, pass to the opponent. Can't do anything here. I have to wait till they try to play their Rankle. Play the Rankle, then I go ahead and bounce it back. Um, uh, Kind of need to block something, right? If I block here, they don't have the mana to pay for it. Because I know that last card in hand is... Yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and block like that. Alright, so we take two. We're down to six. Our turn? Oh, boy. So pretty much what's going to happen here is they're going to hold that over our, uh, that rankle over our heads for quite some time, aren't they? Okay, maybe they'll attack. Or maybe they have double rankle, who knows? All right, all right. I'll just go ahead and play this and pass. I mean, let me think here. Does the Wanderer go back? That's has to put on the battlefield. Okay, so it's on the battlefield for them. Oh, that's bad. That's not good for us. Okay. All right, play Teferi. Turn this back to your hand. All right. So now we get to pass the turn back to the opponent, I guess? Because, I mean... I don't know what other purpose I have, like, for attacking right now. We're nowhere near a point where we can actually kill them. Ugh, Rankle. That's rough. Yep, can't block that. Ah, that's rough. Was not ready for another Rankle, but I guess, like, that's going to be the biggest issue, right? Like, can we stop a Rankle? Like, what do we have that stops a Rankle? I don't think there's much. Well, I guess we drew the only other answer we have. So that feels good. Uh, I guess we just pass again, right? Oh, boy. I don't know how we uh, get rid of the opponent stuff here. Oh, man. Yeah, that's GG's. Mogus' Marauder gets right through us. Man, that's a bummer. Uh, I won the die roll. I'll take it. Oh, I'll keep. Oh, this is a good hand. Oh, boy, finally. Man, that last game was a beating. We got destroyed by Mono Black. It wasn't even close. Mogus' Marauder did work. But this time, we at least have double Mana Dork Spell Queller. And Coco. All right, so opponent is mulligan to five cards. Pass to the opponent. Uh, I can't do anything if they thought sees me anyways. I do want to hold up my mana, though, for Spell Queller. Um, we do have... Th okay, so it depends if they're a creature deck or not. Oh, no, it looks like it might be blue-white, potentially. All right, all right. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and attack now. All right, get in there for some damage. 
And then let's go ahead and play the friendly neighborhood elf and pass two different names. So in case they're like randomly playing Esper and Legion's End. All right. Um, looks like it's spirits. Ooh. I think I'm going to go ahead and go to combat. Let's go ahead and go to attacks. I really want to get to fairy, but obviously I need it before they get to three mana. All right, so I'll go ahead and eat the rattle chains underneath the spell queller. Pass to the opponent. And so now I have a blocker, so that feels pretty good. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and shock for this and go to combat. Let's go to combat. Let's go to get some more damage in. We're currently 15 to 14. All right, so let's attack. Let's see what they have waiting for us in the hangers here. They're down to 10. Cool. Um, Let's go ahead and Coco now. All right. Any order at the bottom. Okay, cool. Looks like we're, the opponent's conceded, so we'll go to the next game. Okay, okay, okay. So we want Teferi to shut off most of their nonsense uh, on our turn. We want Deputy of Detention. That's pretty decent here. Scavenging Ooze doesn't do a lot. A single Gideon's pretty good. Don't want to bring too many of them in, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't even know if Uro really is good in this matchup, per se, because it's not going to do a lot. All right. Hopefully, we did go up a few spells, so hopefully our Cocos don't miss, but let's see what we got in the deck here. Come on, baby. Give me some more of that sweet bajillion. I know I went down a Mana Dork, but, like, we still have a lot of Mana Dorks. I'll keep this. I'll keep this. On the draw, I'll keep. So now we know they'll at least play around our Spell Queller and so forth, like, a lot more carefully, because they probably weren't expecting it. All right, go ahead and play Elvish Mystic. Pass to the opponent. Because, I mean, I don't think that most of the uh, Spirits, Spirits deck play, like, Elvish Mystic and stuff like that, so. Um, let's do this. Let's play Reflector Mage, Bounce Back Rattle Chains. Make it so that they can't play Rattle Chains for a few turns. Correct. Well, not a few turns, but just this turn. They have to wait again. So, let's see what they do now. They've got to wait... They don't want to risk getting Cocoed either, right? So that's the interesting situation here. All right, let's go ahead and go to combat. Let's get in there for two. That's... And then we just don't play anything, right? Until they decide they're going to Coco and or, I don't know, flash in their rattle chains. I believe they have to wait a full cycle, right? That creature's owner can't cast spells with the same name as that creature until your next turn. Oh, wait, is it my next turn? All right, so we get in there for two. Not surprised. Not really a... Nothing worth fighting over right now. If I get Spell Pierced, it's going to feel kind of bad, but hopefully I don't. All right, so Spell Queller, and let's put Lovestruck Beast into play. Any order? Oh, nice. And we won. GG's. Oh, I want to keep this hand so bad. I got a mulligan it. All right, this I can keep. Um, uh, boy. All right, opponent has just declared good luck, have fun. So that means they're about to play something... Super insane, aren't they? All right, let's see. We're on the draw. Hopefully we hit a land. All right, so it looks like it's inverter. Or it could be inverter. All right, go ahead. Your turn, opponent. Hopefully they don't have fatal push. All I can ask for. It looks like they're playing inverter, though. Oh, no. I mean, if they take Spell Queller, then we're going Love Struck Beast, right? Um. All right, there goes Spell Queller. Hopefully we draw lands here. If we draw some lands, this gives us a shot at getting back... Or staying in the game. That's sort of a land. So yeah, I can get behind that. They know both cards in hand. They know both cards in hand right now. Oh, Narset part of... Is this deck just blue-black control? No way. Honest blue-black control? I don't believe. Oh. I didn't want my cards anyways. Whatever. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. So if I don't draw a land, I'm in a bad spot. But if I draw a land, then I have no action. I'm in a weird spot. I, I gotta hit another go Coco. Uh, uh. All right, let's get in there for some combat damage. I'm gonna hold on to my 1-1 one -one because let's say they languish or something like that. Then I'll be ready by having another 1-1 one -one in the hangers. I'll, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be down a ton of lands and it's gonna feel bad, but whatever. Like, I will not play into the languish here. 
Or try not to, at least. Oh, boy. Does this resolve? I can pay for, uh... Now, if it's Drown in the Lock, that's a different story. Can't pay for that. Uh-huh. And there's Fatal Push. You got it. And Drown in the Lock? Wow. Yeah, wait, hold on. So it might still just be uh, the Demir Inverter deck. Um... So let's see, if I attack with 3, that puts him down to 15. Does that change the clock drastically? Probably not. I mean, play like not playing 1, getting in 2 damage. Next turn, potentially threatening 3, 4, 6. Eh, not that great. Realistically, we have, what, maybe 1 to 2 turns left if this is the combo deck? Because they just went digging through time. Man, ripping my Coco. That really hurt. That hurt my soul. And... I mean, Inverter is beatable for us. We just gotta... Oh, jeez. Yep, there it is. GG's. They wouldn't play it unless they had it, so... I have to draw Spell Queller. Nope, I drew a land. Alright, um... Yep. Alright, pass to the opponent. We'll uh, see if they have it. They probably do. Maybe we could bluff them out, you know? <laughs> I got nothing. You got me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> We're dying. Um. Let's see what I can do this turn. They're down to five. Like, they gotta go for it now. It doesn't matter. They're going for it one way or the other. There it is. GG's. I needed to draw a Spell Queller. Or something like that to win the game. Kind of want these. These are all good magic cards, right? Scoozy. I just want to maximize the amount of like uh like bombs I get to like play. Let's see. <laughs> oh boy. Bring in rest in peace. So probably take out Uro. Probably go down a Coco. Gideon of the Trials. Gideon ally. Yeah. You know what? Let's call it a day there. Let's call it a day there. I don't know what else I would, like, okay, maybe I don't need to go down that many Cocos, but I did go up a ton of spells, right? We went 3-6. Yeah, we went up 6 spells. I wanted to play the Rest in Peace because I want to shut off the ability for them to even, like, dig through time. And because of that, we won't have Graveyard, so Uro is just, like, not worth having in. Alright, start of game 2, I'll take the play. Keep. Alright, so we're going for turn 1, Llanowar Elf. Hopefully it doesn't get fatal pushed. If it doesn't, that really helps us accelerate our clock here. Because then we're able to go and play Breeding Pool and get Tireless Tracker on board. Teferi? Okay, that's fine. Uh, they probably have Noxious Grass, but I'll, I'll try to draw a card anyways. Cool. This allows me to get some more draws in. Uh get my spell queller down maybe next turn should i even hold up queller here like i did i maybe i could have held on to it i hold on to the teferi because this way i get to go queller bounce queller they don't get the spell back but you know i don't know there's a chance that we just don't ever get to keep this card right they bring in thought they have thought erasures they have thought seize i don't know holding cards against this opponent seems uh risky if you would yep yep Alright, so Swamp has entered the reveal zone. Alright, pass. Next turn we get a clue. Uh, maybe we can start slowing the opponent down a little. I don't know, we know that... I mean, or apply pressure, sorry. We don't need to slow them down. If We're the ones that are too slow right now. is pretty good here. Queller gets eaten. There's no way Queller isn't the target here. It would be quite a timeline if that were the case. Yep, yep. So I need to draw something to counter and, you know, just do stuff this upcoming turn. Like, I need a lot. Like, I need to interact with the opponent. Ugh. Put a card on top of their library. That's not good for us. I don't want to get got by a Languish, so I'm going to actually shock Heart's Desire. And let's start attacking. Get in there for th three or attempt to. All right, so they're blocking. I don't have another white source, or else I would have played Gideon. Oh, no. They have it all, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay. Let me think here. How much damage is this? This is four? Plus, let me see, let me see, let me see. I have to draw a counter spell. That's not it. Drew a temple garden. Feels good. Okay, so if I go Gideon and make an emblem, that's two, that's seven, and that's four, that's only 13. 
All right. I don't have a like a a what you call it to counter them though. That's the only bummer here. I do not have a disdainful stroke. Okay. We just need a bluff that we cuz they have we have three cards that are unknown to the opponent. Maybe they play it cautiously, but they don't have another turn, so they kind of got to go now, right? Like they go and Thassa's Oracle does not win them the game yet. Jace does, so it's only Jace that wins them the game here. So I've got to hope they just don't have it. Like, they have Thassa's Oracle as the win con. If it's Oracle, it will not work. They'll need to do both play the Oracle and... Let me see. They, they played their land for turn, so that much is so. They played their land for turn. They can't go Oracle and whatever, Deceiver or Deceiver or Inverter and then Oracle. Uh-huh. Let's see what they've got. I mean, can we can we get there? Like, or is this just the sickest? Like, they're tanking, right? Because maybe they're like, oh, does he have it? What are the odds? Three cards unknown. Could be Spell Queller. Could be Spell Queller. Because if it were Jace Mystical Dispute, they would have already played it, right? Because anything I'm going to do to interact with the opponent now that I don't have Teferi is going to be blue. <laughs> opponent is tanking. Let's see. <laughs> Opponent said that they're in an interesting spot. I just said, I assume you must have your Oracle or Jace, or that Inverter play was a sick bluff. <laughs> and they found out again. I am not in a great spot. <laughs> All right, GG's. GG's. We did not get there. Aww. This is a very slow hand. Can I keep this on the draw? No mana dork. I have a turn one play. One, two... One, two, three, potential. Uh, I guess I'll try it. Okay, as long as it's a closer game than the last one. All right, Temple of Deceit. Uh, that's not good for us. Arts Desire, pass. So this upcoming turn, I'm gonna go ahead and shock in Temple Garden or something. They thought sees me, they thought erasure me, yeah. All right, so it looks like it's Inverter again, right? I think it's Inverter. It'd be weird if it wasn't. I mean, Uzi is the only play right now that actually, that like ruins my curve, but all, oh yeah, Coco is the only thing that they'd have to actually like worry about. And they may not care about my curve because they have something to answer, little Uzi. All right, let's go ahead and begin combat. Let's attack. All right, so they have Mystical Dispute main. Interesting, interesting. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thought Erasure, you got it. You got it. Um, to be honest with you, they know about all the things in my hand except for the new card that's been drawn, right? So I'm just gonna cast Lovestruck Beast now. Don't care about Botanical Sanctum. I guess that is a way for me to, like, potentially eat up their graveyard. Never mind. Won't matter now. I probably should have attacked first. I- there's no reason for me to play this in the main. I should have attacked first, this way I could have drawn out- I got a, got maybe a couple more damage in. Alright. Let's go to combat. I'm gonna bluff that I have something and go to combat here. You know what? I'm just gonna play this. There's no reason not to. Like, what, what's gonna happen? Like, are they just gonna go and, uh... If they play Inverter, I lose anyways. Alright, Jace, sure. We at least now can start attacking the Jace. We need to draw, like, a 1-1 one, one or something. Are right, they threw an Inverter away. Good, good, good. Or as good as this can be, at least. 1-1? One, one? Any order... Let's begin combat, attack Jace, attack them. Okay, so that's one Jace down, but that doesn't change the fact that they can still Oracle and, you know, do all that fancy schmancy stuff. We played Botanical Sanctum because this way we get to actually uh, shock in Hollowed Fountain here this next turn. Ipnu Rivulet, Rivulet, if you will, from the opponent. All right, what do you got? I mean, at least I know for a fact right now, even if they go Inverter, we're not dead, right? Oh, okay, sure. They mill us with that? That seems weird. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, this I do want. All right, I do want that. Get in there for some damage there. Some Dimaggio. If they blow my stuff up, that's not the end of the world. Cause it, or if they blow up my voice of resurgence, I get a body out of it. Can I just sneak around them for a victory right now? They're going dig through time. Dig Through Time will get them two cards. I assume one of them will be Removal Spell plus probably some kind of win con here. Yeah, okay. Sure, sure, sure. All right, so they, if they don't have something now, they're dead. All right, cool. We got there. 
Sweet, sweet, sweet. So this one, this matchup actually kind of worked out for us a little bit more. Maybe I don't need rest in peace against them. A little Scoozy should be good enough, right? Love Struck Beast doesn't do much. Ronus doesn't aggro. Ronus is way too slow. Uro is like requiring me to play like this game plan of value that I just don't have built in. Not, I, I, I cannot like play that card in the long game. Um, all right, I think we'll try this. This seems a little bit better. We'll go ahead and cut the Brazen Borrower. I mean, it does bounce something, but not really relevant. Deputy, Love Struck, Uro. Took out some creatures, went down a Coco because of how many spells we went up by. We have five non-creature spells that just came in. I will keep this, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep this. Hopefully we draw, like, a some kind of, like, I don't know, shock land. That'd be amazing right now. That's actually kind of perfect. All right. Sure. And they're both different names, Land of War Elves and Elvish Mystic, so Legion's End won't uh, completely destroy us. All right, my turn. Will I actually get to keep this card? It looks like they're debating on whether they want to Fatal Push me. All right, so now I get to potentially Spell Qual something, right? That's the game plan, at least. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, sure. What do they exile? Two lands and a Disdainful Stroke? All right, pass to the opponent, I guess. They're going to get to minus pretty soon with that, and that's going to be a little bit of a, a nuisance. This Ashiok is doing some serious uh, dunking right now. Let's draw a card. Maybe I'll draw a Shock Land. Cool, I did. That's exactly what I needed. All right, pass to the opponent. They're going to keep eating my deck up, which will be a little bit of a problem. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's still fine. I, I mean, I can't counter any of those anyways. Okay. I get this back. All right, so I got to kill this. I, I got to try to swing into this Ashiok here. Huh. Oh, I should have played the other elf. There was a tactical advantage to playing the other elf. Um, threw away the other Jace. That's fine with me. Is that a bunch of lands? Okay, cool. That's fine. Let's become a 4-4. Let's go to combat. Let's attack. Get rid of this Ashiok before it keeps eating at our yard. Um, I, pro I, I realize I could have attacked with everybody there, but I don't know why I didn't. Let's keep them off their, uh, their main game plan there. Like, them being able to go and dig deeper with the deck is a huge issue, so... I meant to attack last turn, but... And then I'll wait till the end of their turn to bounce this chase back to their hand. Do they have the sweeper? I mean, they have to have a sweeper, right? Yeah, that's fine. Send that back to their hand. Pass to the opponent. So in the event that they have, like, Thoughtseize or something like that. But they played their land for turn, so I guess they were fine. And then we'll get to go and flash in three. So that's three, four, six, seven, eleven, fifteen. All right. Let's see what we can do. Cast. Let's add a blue. Add a blue. Play this. Yeah, we actually had lethal if we had attacked last turn. Oops. Oh, well. Let me think here. So that if I had two more, that's 8, 11, 12, 16, 18, 19. Eh, it's not worth attacking with everybody, uh, playing more than. All right, so they're down to three. They'd still be at one. Or I guess we had lethal again, actually. We had lethal again. Because we could have just pumped by playing two Elvish Mystics and a Spell Queller. All right, GG's. Okay, I'll keep... Man, our games have been very, like, like honestly, like, the opposite sides of the spectrums. I either get 0-2'd or I 2 Maybe we'll have some back and forth this game. Oh, uh, wow, that's a thought seize. Yeah, 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 good thought seize, good thought seize. What, rip my mana dork? Love Shark Beast? Because, I mean, Uro only just draws me into potentially nothing. Here, get rid of one of my mana dorks. That's pretty good. They're playing black-red so far. I mean, could be Grixis, we don't know. All right, Llanowar, I mean, Elvish Mystic down. You got it, opponent. Well, I just drew another one anyways. Hopefully they don't play Legion's End. If they play Legion's End, this is much worse. Much worse. We get Omega blown out at that. And then next turn, what do I want to do? I could potentially play... Ah, no! They have a lot of discard here, don't they? Which card? Discard. All right. At least that, I like, they do have the fancy Thoughtseize. That I do like. If I draw another green source, that's perfect, right? Lava, lava axe? Okay, sure. On my friendly little elf? You got it. That was just my friendly little elf. And then it got lava axed or lightning axed. Interesting. I'm very curious what the opponent's playing now. 
Good news, I still get, ha I have Heart's Desire, so I still have my 1-1. One, one. I get something to do this turn, at least. Gonna need a Spell Queller pretty soon, though. So it costs four, right? Yeah, it costs four to escape and exile three other cards. All right, Phoenix one. They still have another Phoenix. Jeez, Louise. Um, okay, so they have another Phoenix in the yard. They have a Phoenix on board. Playing this Uro, what does it really do for us? Does it do anything? Uh, I guess I pass, right? Like, I need to see if I can just... If they draw a land here, which they I'm assuming they have, I get to Spell Quell. It does not feel great giving this back to the opponent. Ideally, I get to actually... If I draw Teferi right now, I get to get rid of that Phoenix of Ash. I did not draw said Teferi, so... All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and attack here. Free attack with Spell Queller. Feels good. If they block, that's great news for me. Because I know that if I don't do something, they pump it and then they block and kill my Spell Queller anyways, so... And at least right now, it's a little difficult for them to trigger Revolt, so Fatal Push won't work. This survives past Coligan's command. That it needs to be, like, another Lightning Axe or something. Hopefully, just don't have that. That'd be real cool. No blocks. You got it. I'm F6 out of this turn. No pump from the opponent. Wild. All right. Black red from the opponent. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So we play Teferi. We bounce this back to our hand. And now that card is permanently gone. That feels good. However, I do need to actually deal with my opponent's uh, other Phoenix over here. And they cannot cast the, the Phoenix spell, so the Phoenix just goes away permanently. Pass to the opponent. Of course, they could always just ignore Teferi and let me have another... I mean, I guess, of course, I have to actually, like, kill this Phoenix or somehow get it, get them to cast it again. So, like, Brazen Borrower, like, block it or something. Or bounce it, make them play it. And opponent knows about Uro. Uro's gonna stay in the hand for a minute here. They can only pump once. They pitched a land, so that feels good. They killed my friendly neighborhood elf, which makes me a little sad, because now this Lovestruck Beast just sits and chills. But I couldn't afford them getting that Phoenix back, so I had to bounce Spell Queller as opposed to going Lovestruck Beast, cast Heart's Desire again. Oh, okay. Whatever, I guess. No blocks. Straight to the face. I like it. Business. Nothing but. Nothing but business. All right. We need, like, a Coco or something like that, too. Like, that'd be pretty good. I only gained two life on this, unfortunately, but it's something. Uh, yeah, sure. Here you go. No, I don't have a land to get from that, but, however, I do get a, a Goose. That counts for anything. So, I get to go up some more health here. So, that means I get potentially punched for four? I get punched for four, I go down to eight. I get to play Goose. I mean, they could just choose to ignore Teferi as they are. And then that means my Spell Queller gets a little bit better. Because next turn I'll be able to block, right, with Gilded Goose. f 6 once again, opponent. I got nothing for you on this turn. All right, they have two cards in hand. What are they? Interesting. Interesting. So you have a Kroxa. I'll discard Gilded Goose, I guess. Okay. Ooh. I like this. Yeah, I'll just play it. Return this to their hand. And now they know exactly what's going on. Oh, I didn't get to attack. Darn it. Oops. I keep m mashing through my attack phase. Shows you how much I attack. Oh my god. Mash through my attack phase on accident like that. Feels bad, man. So this makes it so it's a little more difficult on the opponent. What will they play? Who knows? If they go, like, Collector Brutality again... Alright. I'll go ahead and eat that spell up. Sure. They go land. That's fine. Alright, sweet. You got it. Because we have Brazen Borrower to go ahead and just bounce that back to their hand again. I can cast Uro. That draws me a card. And it still allows me to Brazen Borrower. I like that. Let's go to the next... Oh, okay. Going to the next one. Opponent conceded game one. Feels good, feels good. 
I feel like Rest in Peace is really good against this opponent. Maybe we can go and use uh, Deputy of Detention also. Reflector Brutality, that makes it a little of a nuisance. Reflector Mage is pretty good in this matchup. Like, do we have any other forms of life gain? Food from Goose, and that's about it, right? It is nice, though, that Ronus doesn't, like... I don't know, does Ronus really do anything, though? I feel like Ronus just... It's a good body, I guess. Go down one Mana Dork. I can play Gideon. I can play an, uh, either Gideon. Oh, boy. What else is good here? Like, Uro is not great when I have to, like, use Rest in Peace a ton, right? You know what? I'll just keep the Mana Dork in. We are on the draw, after all. Uh, if this gets Thought Seize, this hand is very weak. So I'm gonna Mulligan. All right, this is a lot better. Or, I mean, it's semi-better. At least I get, like, two Mana Dorks. So I don't get stuck with just a rec uh, Reflector Mage or something like that. That feels pretty bad. Play the Land War Elf. Pass to the opponent. Next turn, I could potentially get a Tireless Tracker out. But at the same time, should I just wait? Kroxa? Oh, Young Peasy. All right. That's a problem. Whatever. I'm going to just play it. Make them have it. Hopefully, they don't have two like ways to like kill a... I don't know. I hope they don't have like two spells to play. Like One spell, sure, but like two is a little brutal. Because, like, hopefully this can draw some aggro off Llanowar Elf, so next turn I can play Coco. Alright, looks like that might be Dreadbore or something like that. Maybe Coligan's Command. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. That's so good. That's so good. They just ripped Coco from my hand. Wow, that was such a gross turn. Holy cow. Yeah, I don't know if we're coming back from that one. I don't know if we're coming back from that one. That was nasty, and they still have a Phoenix to play. All right, pass to the opponent. Gosh, that was such a good turn from the opponent. Holy cow. Collective Brutality doing some serious work there. Nasty, absolutely nasty. Okay, okay, what does the opponent have now? At least got one clue out of this, right? Yuck, I'm getting stomped. Stomped for days. Okay. It's a good thing we brought in Deputy of Detention, right? To get rid of all these tokens. Well, you know, that doesn't help anybody, but all right. Oh boy. Maybe we can get the opponent to swing in or something like that? I don't know. Swing out. I have two elves. I have two elves. I mean, there's no way they're ever swinging with the young Pyromancer, but I can believe. Hopefully we don't whiff, because remember, we did in decrease the creature density. Come on, play like a discard spell or something like that. Play Thought Seize, anything along those lines. I mean, ideally just Thought Seize. Collective Brutality is a little, well, brutal. Yup, you got it. So I take three, I'm down to six. Oh. All right, so they've gone ahead and swung in with the Elementals. I guess I should now, I'll use it now. Please, 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 please work, please work, please work, please work. So, Deputy of Detention is most certainly one, Tireless Tracker is the other. Or should I Love Struck Beast to really threaten a body here? No, I need to get, I need to get Tireless Tracker. I'm doing that so I can block, hopefully block. Alright, so they no longer have any creatures. Actually, that's a good thing right now. With considering uh, what I've got going on, that's really good. All right, let's go ahead and go to attacks, I guess. Is there anything they have that has haste? I don't think so. I may as well swing in with everything, right? I mean, this is where they, like, show me up and, like, go, like, Dreadhorde Butcher, right, and surprise me, but I think right now the only thing they can do is, like, probably kill my deputy but not net a token from it. Play Giant, that's fine. Oh, no. I, I suppose they aren't cycling that one, so that feels bad. Oof. Sweltering Suns, huh? Okay. Yeah, I got another land here. I think we lose this one. Because now they get Phoenix back. Phoenix goes up some some uh, uh, counters. I think Phoenix is like, what, a 3-3 this time around? Yeah. Escapes with a 1-1 counter. They just got to draw a land, of course. Oh, man. If they had... Oh, dude, that, that Sweltering Suns was brutal. And it was exactly what the opponent wanted, too. I mean, you know what? Maybe I should have just taken the tokens. But would I have even drawn the board wipe out of the opponent? Huh. Opponent, I think, must either... I think they're stepping away from the game or something? Who knows? 
Their turn, though. I am F6 through all of it. Um, Coco is my only out, and it has to be, like, a really good Coco. So, we don't have any life gain either. Oh, boy. Outside of, like, scavenging ooze, I guess. Like, if I can find Scoozy, that's perfect. Because then Scoozy allows me to eat Croxa, Phoenix. Of course, they can just play Giant here. Mm. All right, so we take two. We're down to four. Ratchet Bomb? Okay, sure, sure. I guess I just pass to the opponent again. This time I'm dead if they draw a land. Because I did not draw Coco. Go down to two. Potentially just get stomped here and then die. And or just a Croxa. I don't imagine them just playing one. Alright. Sick meme. Sick meme. Check it out. I got this one drop. Alright, cool. They got it. We're dead. We'll go to the next one. Alright, so what do I have to do here? They have so many things that... So much removal, right? So I guess Ronus might help here. Gideon might help here. Like this Gideon specifically. Voice of Resurgence, anything that I really care about. They have so many ways to like dunk on us though. All right, let's try this. No lands. I'm gonna have to mulligan that one. All right, I'll keep this. This is slightly better. That is a good card to have. Jeez, I want Gideon pretty bad because that's the most resilient threat we have. I'm gonna go ahead and bottom Detention Thief. I want the Gideon. The Gideon's really good. Like, we get that white source. Outside of Dreadbore, like, they have to have just Dreadbore, right? Because almost everything of ours... And, like, this could be a turn 3 Gideon, too. Oh, please, please, please let me get a turn 3 Gideon. Now, Detention... Deputy Detention is obviously great for if they have Young Pyro again and stuff like that. Phoenix, I mean, yeah, sure. Alright, pass to the opponent. So, they mulligan down to 6. Down the draw... All right, hopefully they don't, like, Thought sees us. Collector Brutality is not as big of a concern, but... Oh, man, they just shocked. So they're doing something on turn one. Yep, Thought sees. All right. Yep, there goes Gideon. That's unfortunate. All right, I need to hit... Uh, let me see. I'd like another White Source or something. But after that, I, I don't really need any more lands, I don't think. Like, one more White Source and I'm good. Hopefully they don't Thought sees me or Collector Brutality me. Collective Brutality is such a blowout here. If they go minus two, kill my elf, also get a uh, Coco. Okay, let's pass the turn. I don't hate that draw. Rest in Peace is pretty good here. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, you got it. Will they attack? Hopefully they do. All right, cool. So since they attacked, I can now hopefully hit a Spell Queller. Actually, that's the only thing I hit. So any order doesn't matter. Block. Go for the Rest in Peace this turn. Okay, so now I can go ahead and go to combat, attack. We got rid of the Phoenix. Any Most of their recursion that they're looking to get will be gone. Hoping that they just don't have another hand disruption spell or a way to kill my Llanowar Elf or my Elvish Mystic. If they do have a sweeper and pick off the Elf, really going to need a, a fourth land off the top. Although we just bottomed like like five lands to fairy. Oh, it looks like Sweltering Suns. Oh, another Phoenix. Okay, I can live with this. All right, I guess get in there for some damage. They know about my Reflector Mage, so I'm not going to play into whatever trap they might have. Really just want to sit here and kind of just hold up Coco. All right, hope they don't have Fetch Push. Fetch Push is uh, pretty bad for us. It's not a great feeling. All right, pass back to the opponent. They're going to take two potentially. Or, okay, they they at least take two. I mean, it looks like they're taking four this turn. I like that. I mean, they know about everything I've got. Or they know about the Reflector Mage. Yeah, you got it. That's all you, opponent. All right, let's go ahead and Coco now. Really? One Tireless Tracker. Your finest Tireless Tracker, please. Oh, boy. All right, let's go ahead and bounce. I don't know. This thing? Yeah, let's just bounce that thing. Get it out of here. At least this way, if we get them to trade their, uh... This means they can't cast it, the Phoenix because Reflector Mage. That means Spell Queller kind of locks it out. Okay. Okay. And I discard a card? Sure. All right. Yep. Eat the Elf. You got it. So they can't cast the Phoenix. That means they can't block it either. And if they kill with Spell Queller, that means Phoenix just stays in exile. 
Oh, man. GG's. Opponent said GG's. That looks like a 3-2 and two record, so, you know, better than last week's episode, of course. And, uh, you know, it was really just riding on the back of Coco getting instant speed, like, Quellers, or digging for Quellers, Reflector Mages, or, as you saw, just the turns where we got to get Lovestruck Beast. And, of course, it was pretty rad having Teferi bounce back Spell Queller to go ahead and make it so that we could exile some Phoenixes and stuff like that. Um, as always, you know, when you when you bring in cards like Gideon and all these, like, non-creature spells, you do make your Coco hits a little bit worse. So there's always this weird line that you have to walk where how many, uh, like, creatures can we really go down? So uh, that is one thing, but... I think the sideboard could use maybe like Settle the Wreckage or something like that for the Go Wide decks. As you saw, Mono Black destroyed us. Most of our matchups tonight were very, very much so like the extremes of like each end. Either A, we 2 0 or we got 2 0 Luckily, the last match did push to Game 3, so that was pretty sweet. But thank you so much for watching another episode of Pioneer Peak. And as always, I do appreciate you all checking out the content and supporting and as always if you have any questions or you know just want to talk magic at all feel free to stop by my twitch channel i stream monday through thursday and uh other than that thank you so much for watching all the content here on mtg goldfish make sure you leave a like and a sub and of course hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up other than that it's your friendly neighborhood asian avenger signing out and i'll see you at the next thanks video. for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.